Hi bronzers. Um, so you're probably wondering why this makeup tutorial is starting with me looking like Cocaine Cassie. So today I am dumbfounded by the fact that I forgot to press the record button on my phone. We are halfway through the makeup tutorial, but we're not gonna let that define us. Without more further ado, tonight is, tonight is <laughs> Saturday night, which means I am going out on a little date with Fernando. Because it is quarantine agenda and there is no fancy restaurants open or boutique bars, I guess I will have to settle for I don't know. I don't actually know what he wanted to do with me in the car. I'm here in my gorgeous WWE shirt. I was inspired to get this shirt by my beautiful belated husband, Mr. Randy Orton. There was a little bit of domestic with the box and Regina did get her dirty claws on it. Um, she's very jealous and envious of mine and Randy's relationship because I pay a little bit more attention to him than her. <coughs> Ooh, beg your pardon, you dirty grummet. Tonight I'm going on a little adventure with Mr. Fernando because of the harsh restrictions that quarantine agenda has set for us. The whole social distance, that's not stopping us. Um, it is stopping us from going to one of our regular fancy restaurants that we go to where he splurges out. But you know what? When there's a bronzer, there is a way. There's no way we're going to be driving around in his Mercedes. I mean, I'm happy to do that as long as he's got me a new Chanel. He's someone that's definitely in the top three of my sugar daddies that have just a lot of respect for me and they care for me and they nurture me and they love me. That's why there's a lot of drama with a lot of the other daddies that I come across because they don't seem to understand or grasp the concept that I'm not just a piece of me that they can have whenever they want. The only thing I've got in my crease right now is um, a little bit of bronzer. This is... I've had this bake on my upper lip so much, it's gonna sink into my fucking moustache pores. I'm just gonna dip this in a little bit of bronzer and I'm going to contour and bronze my temples now as well as extending the eyeshadows just so it all seamlessly blends together. Jeez, that sounds like... An instant influencer. Oh God, I'm getting bronzer all over my fucking headband. Although to be fair, there's not one item in my household that doesn't have bronzer on it. Some basic ass neutral eyeshadow. Super quick and easy way to do it and I literally just use bronzer. I've been needing a tripod and I finally got this Joby Telepod from JB Hi-Fi. It was $130, which is like ridiculous for a freaking phone tripod. As soon as I got home, I kind of cracked it. I was expecting this to go six feet tall, 190 centimeters. So a little bit about me and Fernando. I've been in an open sugar relationship for about 18 months now and it's been quite some time with him, honestly. He treats me well, you know. I don't know what I would do without Fernando, honestly. He's done so much for me. Like he bought my face, he bought tickets to Korea. And not only is Fernando like really hot and has a big <coughs> he also has lots and lots of money. I really am not liking my eyebrows, like, at all, like, whatsoever. So I'm just dusting off this dirty powder that has sat on my face for literally, like, 25 minutes. Okay, look, this is just, like, a supernatural... Not supernatural, the TV show, like, a, a super space natural glam moment. Well, at least natural for me. I might add a little bit of contour. I'm not sure about these eyebrows, so I might shave them off real quick. I'm going to give it another shot. If this doesn't work, I'm going to commit a felony. I feel like I'm going to be looking like rude Paul in two seconds, honestly. Oh my god. I feel like they don't even look that much different.
Why does something always have to happen to me? I'm already... Oh, no. Are you supposed to let this dry before you touch it? I don't even give a fuck. I'm just going in. If my stubble is obvious as it is in this mirror right now, I'm gonna be absolutely mortified. So... I'm gonna add some more bronzer because I am bronzerella, so... Now we're going back in with some blush. If I don't wear blush, I instantly look clockable, but as soon as I put blush on, she's a woman. Blush is so feminine, it's so pretty, and I don't know. The only blush I have worn for literally the last three years is MAC Melba. It's the only blush I buy. It's just the prettiest colour for majority of skin tones. It's in my makeup kit as well. I might add a little bit of highlight, even though I don't like highlighter that much, but... Why not cake it up for Fernando? Do you know what I mean? He loves a bit of blinding when he's getting a blowjob. Calm down. hate my eyebrows. So this is basically the makeup look completed. It's just like a, you know, it's just like a neutral, beautiful glam that the boys are gonna love. You can do this glam for any sort of occasion. If you're going to go suck dick, if you're gonna go see your sugar daddy, if you need to go get your rent paid and you know, you need to see someone to look hot. This is my favorite glam to do when I'm going to go see someone that's paying my bills. But it's not too heavy but it's also not too light, like you've done fuck all. Like it literally looks like you've put in effort, but not too much effort. And it's kind of just like a cute little fuck me glam. But I feel like I've completed this basically. Um, all that's left to do is I might touch up my hair, go over with the flat iron. I might, you know, get into a little bit more of a thought outfit. I'm hardly gonna wear a WWE wrestling shirt to my sugar daddy day hold on we are not done we are not all the way done we want to have some lip gloss just to have extra juiciness i don't know they just give your lips like that good like juicy voluptuous um big Ange. rest in peace by the way big Ange. god bless um i gotta get dressed i gotta yeah i just gotta get dressed have my tits out Got some pins and needles in this bitch. Well, didn't this video didn't go to its plan because I didn't really get everything I wanted in, but oh well. Oh. <clears throat> um. Is this too embarrassing to wear on a sugar daddy date? If I was to rock up in a WWE shirt, would it be a vibe or would it not be a vibe? I don't even know what I'm gonna even order. This bitch isn't even gonna want anything but a steak and red wine. I just wanted mashed potato and greens because they don't sell individually mashed potato and zucchini, which is weird, but anyway. Um, I'm not really wearing the appropriate attire for a Mercedes Benz, so I'm going to go and find something super sexy and super slut. We gotta wear something that's gonna really make them tip the extra mile. We don't want one month's rent, we want two. We wanna be living rent free, basically. We don't wanna be having one month in advance, two months in advance. You be going out like this with tits out. Well, not tits out, but they're there. If you don't have your tits out, wear a bombshell bra at least, so you can make it look like you've got some big knockers. Beat. To the gods. Hair, done. You will literally be living in rent-free in no time. Now that this is like completed, um, there's nothing really left more to then sit downstairs and wait for Fernando to come and pick me up in his brand new Mercedes Benz. I've got my red glasses on, we've got our red bra on, we've got our Louboutins on. 
like this is the moment this is the moment y'all been waiting for this bras and things bralette has to have these fake diamantes on show more they're no Swarovski crystals little diamonds on the straps it's such a vibe when you're going out on your date make sure you take a really expensive bag like mine this is about three grand can't be walking around with a rich man if you don't have a rich bag along with you if you're thinking you're going to try and get away with like taking a mimp co to your date please don't go to the date then it's not going to be worth it he's not even going to buy your food i'm pretty sure he won't be calling you back that's where we draw the line at least take a Valentino. There's not really much. Oh, hi, Regina. I never thought you'd say hello. Goodbye. Regina, which bag should I take? So Regina loves my Gucci bag. I'm actually in the works of getting her own little Gucci bag because she's been hounding mine like no tomorrow. But I'm sick of her getting her hair all over mine and getting her fur and dirty claws all over it. As you can see right now, she's Excuse me, you know that's my $3,000 bag and not yours, right? This is actually a great excuse for Fernanda to get me a new bag. Thanks, Regine. I'm going to get Fernanda to get me a new Valentino. Studded diamantes in the black and white. <gasps> I'm not having a bag after it fell on the floor. Like, God, no. Might ask some for some new ones because these ones are kind of a tight squeeze. Like, oh. Louboutins are not made for fucking trans women. Let me just say that. Or any women that's just born with a size 11 foot. Regina, get your fake tail in my lipstick. If you are planning to go on a date with a Mimco purse, don't go on the date because he won't be buying your dinner. 